Good afternoon, 47. Your destination is the annual Global Innovation Motor Race in Miami, Florida. After analyzing the data from Reynolds' computer, the case is clear. The Providence defectors are Robert and Sierra Knox, head of robotics developer Kronstadt Industries. A visionary inventor and technological innovator, Robert Knox has spearheaded Kronstadt Industries to the bleeding edge of technological development. His equally brilliant daughter, Sierra, is not only a financial wizard, but also a fiercely competitive race car driver with a fiery temper to match. Kronstadt enjoys enormous popularity with global consumers. However, few are aware that the company is also one of the world's leading suppliers of next-gen military tech. Last year, despotic ruler Jin Po employed prototype Kronstadt drones against peaceful civilian protesters in the now infamous Tanyan Valley incident. And although it has yet to be proven, there is little doubt that the Noxes personally brokered the deal, making them complicit in a war crime. It is unclear why the Noxes would betray their masters, but likely the fear of being next on the Shadow Client's hit list has pressured them to cut a deal with the enemy. Undoubtedly, with Kronstadt Industries on their side, the militia will increase their attacks tenfold, and so our contract obligates us to retire Robert and Sierra Knox and contain the damage they may inflict on Providence. I will leave you to prepare. Welcome to Miami, 47. The innovation race is on its last day, and it is down to the wire. Thousands of eager fans are gathered for the final laps of this unexpectedly close race. Sierra Knox is expertly piloting her red Kronstadt car. Her father, Robert Knox, roams the nearby expo building where Kronstadt is showcasing its new prototype car. The Kronstadt RK Mark III has seen fierce competition from the Chinese Kowoon Heavy Industries' new racer. Moses Lee, CEO of Kowoon, has taken a dominant lead and looks invincible. Sierra Knox will need to risk it all if she wants to win for the third year in a row. The stakes are as high as they can get. Relax. You'll be on your way in a sec. All right. Good job, sir. Thank you. Let me just repeat some ground rules for those of you new to the You've got to cover as much ground as possible within the time frame. When the time's up, we have our winner. Yes. 
I ran away as fast as I could. Look at how low these oh, cars are. I don't know. I really don't want to get involved. I've got a lot of... I mean, the level of technical engineering on display today. It's something very special. That ticket tap. I mean, Hey, how did you get in here, sir? You're trespassing. I've been looking forward to this event all year. Moses... Thank you for your patience, sir. Jeez. Don't forget, the secret of endurance racing is to keep that car going until the end. This race is not over until the clock ticks down. Hello, sir. I like this. What do you think? This is perfect. It's okay. Let me know when you're ready. Let's go! So, and once again, just to get this straight, you had no idea. Pink garages, for instance. Package. I thought it was just pyrotechnics. As I understand it, Moses Lee is into that sort of thing. Interesting story. You want to know what I think? I think you were hired by someone to infiltrate the cow. You know what we call that? We call that domestic terrorism. Huh? Don't forget, the secret of endurance racing is to keep that car going Whoa. until the end. This race is not over until the clock ticks down. Hi there. Stat race car with Sierra Knox behind the wheel. Let me just repeat some ground rules for those of you new to endurance racing. You gotta cover as much ground as possible within the time frame. When the time's up, we have our winner. Listen, Miller, I don't care about your problems, all right? I made it clear this morning that if things didn't change, I'd be off the Kronstadt team. Half an hour later, I have to listen to Knox berate my skills as a mechanic because the roll cage interferes with the radio signals from Sierra's suit. No more. I'm done. Yes, I know you're a man short now, and no, I don't give a rass ass about it. I'll tell you what, you double my salary for the entire week, and I'll come back in case Sierra decides to use that last pit stop. There is well, still plenty of decide otherwise. Here, I'll be down by the I mean, if you're not careful, you can burn these tires off after 10. One of the Kronstadt pit crew has quit the team in protest, and Grace Miller, the ball buster chief mechanic, is in critical need of a replacement. Why don't you step in and offer your services, 47? You're good with a wrench. Wow. It's a huge deal to manage that in this heat, and these drivers know it. inside the Kronstadt pit. I suggest you talk to Grace Miller, chief mechanic. She could probably use some extra hands. Be mindful of roaming security guards. Some of them may work out you don't quite belong. Use the crowds to hide in if needed. You, you're the junior slip wrench who got injured yesterday, right? I suppose I am. Great, this is your lucky day. Do well and there's a bonus in you, got it? Got it. All right, everyone, look alive and get to your stations. Sierra may come in for a last minute pit stop and I need you ready and able. You, rookie, get into position. Grab your preferred tool and be prepared. Today's your day to shine, let's do this. It seems there are several ways to go about this. I suggest finding a pneumatic wrench. Well, just keep me up. It's 
Garrett's coming in. Everyone on the station, now! Flip it, you're on, baby. This is the mechanic. The special component has been installed in the car and is ready for activation. Excellent. Meet me shortly at the overpass. I'd like to handle this one personally. All right. As it is about the driver's Mr. Smith, a pleasure. Do you have the trigger? Right here, sir. Thank you. Tomorrow's papers will surely just write this off as a terrorist militia attack on some rich corporate CEO. But you and I will know better. Now watch this. Leave me. I need to be alone for a moment. Yes, sir.
Oh, here he comes. Target down. Next up, Robert Knox. How did you? Picking up some radio chatter, 47. Robert Knox appears to be heading for his helicopter at the top of the expo building. I think he's planning on leaving. Both targets down. Well done, 47. Head for an exit, and we'll speak again soon. and now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. And you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, 
KGB. Plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> And now we are axing our own? Knox was a traitor. He would have caused incalculable damage. And he won't be the last. This is exactly what the enemy wants. We need to fight the sickness, not the symptom. And I have just the tool for the job. Right. The Burnwood woman. Eric Soders warned you about her, didn't he? The Crusader. I can handle Miss Burnwood. Everyone hates power until you offer them some. <laughs> you ought to know. ICA speaks the enemy's language. We need them. And once we don't... <laughs> we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Fact remains, we are shadowboxing. We need to know who we are up against. I was getting to that. His name is Lucas Gray, the late Mr. Cobb's head of security. Cobb was ground zero, first of our operatives to die. It had to be one of his staff, someone with military training and access to the plane. Yeah, grasping at straws. Gray is a mercenary, a veteran of every backwater tragedy you've ever ignored on the five o'clock news. Chechnya, Sierra Leone, the list goes on, but before 89, nothing. No records of any kind. Now, oh, come on. CIA, KGB, plenty of spies went dark. After the curtain was lifted, I cast a very wide net. Lucas Gray simply does not exist. <clears throat> If you're all quite done wetting yourselves with excitement, I couldn't give two shits where he came from. I only want to know one thing. How does he know about us? I swear to God, this hearts and flowers crap will get us both killed. Can't you see? Your so-called friend is working for them now. He's not the man you knew. This is his fight too, Olivia. Even if he doesn't realize it. Like it or not, 47 is our last and only lead on the partners. He needs to remember. He's coming for us. And unlike you, he won't hesitate. Just get me inside. Rico, I need a favor. <laughs> 